previously. How are you not doing anything right? <laughs> you max seed me, buddy. <laughs> On Progression Series Season 2. Oh, this man, has been a dude. slog. Oh my god. Why has it been? I feel like I should have won this game like a million turns ago. Baylor. Oh, well, I lose. <laughs> no! Oh, man, I was like... Oh, he was so I was cooking greedy. so hard. He was so greedy. Was In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the battle of light and dark versus the elements paid off in our favor because we're in the winner's circle, we're on a two win streak, and most importantly, we get to spin the wheel at the start of the episode. Please, anything except a redo or ticket. I have plenty. Anything else? Ooh. Oh, that's pretty damn good. So because we spun a secret rare wild card on the wheel today, we're allowed to take any card from Legendary Collection 5Ds, which was the previous episode. And I think there's one card in particular I'm going after. There's a few decent ones in the secret rare slot, like Colossal Fighter, Crimson Blader, and such. But we're going to go down onto the ultra rares here. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and nab myself a third copy of Max C. I was looking at the historic limited chart, and uh, it looks... Looks like Maxi stays at three all the way until about 2016. We're at the end of 2014 here, which means we're probably going to get to use th our three Maxi versus Gage's two for several episodes. And I think that's going to give us a distinct advantage moving forward. So let's lock that in and we'll throw it over to Gage so we can tell you all about today's set, the new challengers. And just as quickly as I had the lead, I had to let it go already. I really, really hate dropping the Age of Gage as soon as it has started. I felt really, really confident the last few episodes, but Alex, he finds a way. He finds a way, I'll tell you. His Shadal deck, I don't even want to say it's fierce. It looks like Brick City, but somehow he finds a way to make it work. I'm going to come in today a lot more prepared. I think I have some strategies. I don't know how I've played Dragon Wars every single time, and I swear I have like a two out of eight streak going on with it. It's quite bad. Maybe we'll take it back to something a little bit more consistent today, something a little bit more reliable. We'll look into that after we open up the set today. The new Challengers, released November 6, 2014. This set actually has a couple of really cool things in it, some stuff that has definitely stood the test of time, but some stuff that was only relevant really for a season, if you will. First things first is Herald of Arclight's a really sick super rare that is still played today. Uh, just generic level 4 that you can make. Uh, when it's sent to the graveyard, it searches a ritual monster, a ritual spell, which is really sick. But the big thing is that it's like a macro cosmos on the field, and it's also a spell trap or monster negate. Solid card all around, right? This is still probably the most long-lasting card throughout the set. The next thing New Challengers gave us was the debut of really like the first breakout pendulum deck. That's Cleefort. Cleefort really focused on pendulum summoning out some of these little dudes and then tribute summoning them into bigger guys. And then when you tribute these things, they do certain effects. Um, one in particular is a secret rare here, Disc. Where's that? At. Disc actually was really expensive for a while. Uh, it has the effect where when it was tribute summoned by tributing a Klee, you can special summon two more Klees from the deck. Uh, notably, when you normal summoning the Klees, it like puts their attack value to really, really small, 1800. But if you special summon them out the deck, they're still just as big as they were. So you can make some really wacky kind of like OTK lines with Disc. This deck was really good for a little bit because it played well with cards like Vanity's Emptiness and stuff like that. But I really couldn't tell you when the deck kind of just fell off the map. People are utilizing cards like Apocliffort Towers, where the colloquial term towers comes from, right? This thing is literally unaffected by everything, unaffected by spells, traps, and by activated effects with any monster whose original level and rank is lower than this current level, which is, it's a 10. That's pretty much everything in the game. So now when you hear cards that are like generally unaffected by stuff or they're just really difficult to get around, people call them a towers. On top of that, you had some more Burning Abyss TCG exclusive support. Calcab, Alec were all right. Um, one of the more notable ones was Virgil. 
Virgil was played for a short amount of time actually being kind of removal. He's pretty cool too. I think I just like the artwork of this guy here. Uh, and then Rubik. If anybody remembers back in the day, this was one of the most like discussed cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, I think. TCG exclusives are always very elusive and people love to kind of like discuss and banter about what the effect could be. I remember people were spoiling this thing or like leaking it and it was just completely wrong. All this card ended up being is it's a level 3 tuner with the basic, um, what, Burning Abyss stuff. Everyone was saying this was going to be like the best card in the game before it was revealed. Everyone's like, yo, they're getting a tuner and it's going to do all these things. And in reality... It didn't do anything. <laughs> Again, building more from the archetypes from the last set, we have like more Teller Knight support here. Triver was really awesome, being able to uh, compulse everything back to the hand. Definitely a really sick card. Denko Seka in particular was a really slick, generic level 4 monster. Uh, while you control no set spells or traps, neither player can set spells or traps or activate spells or traps. So I remember in some Shadal builds, uh, being able to start your turn by normal summoning Denko Seka and then popping off from there was game breaking right i don't know if we'll see much play with it but solemn scolding was actually pretty niche too at the time i remember this card was played in most necroz decks and stuff like that being essentially a judgment where it has to be the only set card in your spell trap zone to be able to activate it and you pay 3,000 life points to use it funny enough this card did see play uh, i still like this card it brings back some fond memories personally as for the commons i'll go swiftly through them uh we had some more fluffle cards released to us here uh valerie fawn is actually a pretty sick card imagine we bring back our beast deck with this despot 02 still not the full breath of the despots but we're coming back to that iconic part of like season one right where this deck is playable and then there's some other cute things like Ruffian Railcar was pretty good to search out a level 10 Earth for those um, train decks. Uh, UA Power Jersey is actually really strong. I know Alex is really attached to those Ultra Athletes. Maybe he picks that up again. And then Fusion Substitute ended up being like a really broken card uh, in tandem with Zodiac strategies that would we see that we would see later on in the game. Altogether, there's a lot of really cool things to build off of of this set in particular. Um, I, unfortunately, they build upon strategies that are already established from the last set. I don't really have anything cooking too much except a very very loose Shadal package with, I have Shadal Fusion and that's it. I'm not quite as lucky as Alex. Um, today we'd have to get lucky and pull like Shekinaga as the fusion of choice this time around and maybe El Shadal Fusion if we want to even see anything built off of that. But I'm excited to open it today. I have to open, unfortunately, the loser packs, pity packs. I got three packs of... What Astral Pack are we on? Astral Pack 5. I feel like I opened this before and I didn't get anything good and I'm probably not going to get anything now. Three more packs of Astral Pack 5. Let's see what we get. Flip. Oh, Potter Duality. A very cool and ultimate rare. Unfortunately, very unplayable. I'm pretty sure I already have the entire play set and we are way past Potter Duality's prime. Wow. Overworked. Library of the Heliosphere and Queen of Thorns. Nothing special there. Last pack. Abyss Pike. Okay, pretty cool. All right. Again, not anything great. We'll just add it to the collection, not think twice about it. Let's get to the big opening today. Well, we're already starting off the episode strong. How much better could it get, right? 24 packs of the new challengers. There's one card in particular I'm really hoping we pull in the super rare slot. Let's flip up pack number one. It looks like we're only going to get a Cal Cab for the rare, but UA Power Jersey, if we ever want to play UA again, we're going to need those as well. Valerie Fawn is in this set. This is a card that Gage could utilize in his rank two beast strategy. So uh, definitely something I'm going to look out for today. The Cliff Fort's debut in this set, I'm sure Gage already talked about it. I don't think it's likely either of us will be playing these because stuff like Scout is an ultra, Disc is a secret. The, the archetype's just fairly high rarity. I just don't think it's going to happen. There's a super rare, although not the one that we were looking for, in Rescue Hamster. Neat little card. Not as good as Rescue Rabbit, of course, but uh, still a fine card. Fluffle Dog isn't a terrible pickup. I know that there are going to be some people in the comments that are going to be fiending for me to play some sort of, like, Fluffle Shadal hybrid, which, uh, you know, isn't completely off the table, but Shekinaga would be nice. I don't really know if I'm looking for anything in particular. Like I said, Shekinaga would be pretty tough, but if I don't get that, I'm not going to be too upset. There's Cow Cab, Mountain Branch of the Burning Abyss. The Mountain Branches this time around were a little bit more lackluster. I think we end up getting like Farfa and stuff in the next core set coming out. Uh, we had Cow Cab and Alec here, which were okay. I think they're pretty bottom of the barrel. Oh, okay. Oasis of Dragon Souls is neat. This is like a Call of the Haunted, and it turns something into a worm type. Um, which that doesn't matter too much, actually. And then we also have look, Valerie Fun. Looking to pick up a couple copies of these. Cursed Bamboo Sword. This card's Pretty crazy, actually. If it's sent to the graveyard, it adds any bamboo sword card from deck to hand. Definitely some silly things you can do with getting a golden bamboo sword out the deck and pot of greeting if you already have the stupid uh, wooden bamboo sword, broken bamboo sword. Yeah, I mean, Virgil Rockstar, the Burning Abyss. We did come out with a really solid Burning Abyss pull, but Alex has banned Tour Guide from the Underworld, and it's not really a deck that I want to even attempt to build in that current state, right? I feel like Tour Guide's too important. 
Also sucks that I didn't get any Dantes, but we got Virgil, right? We got the rock star of the Burning Abyss. He looks cool. He looks really neat. Ooh, Apocleefort Towers to add to the Cleefort deck. I don't think I have any other moving parts for that at the moment. It is a shame. I got excited because I saw it was a fusion monster, but uh, unfortunately, it is first of the dragons. Interestingly enough, this card's sort of a win condition in and of itself, but you sort of have to build an entire deck around it. Well, it's another purple card, although it's not the one that we were looking for. Fright for Wolf isn't terrible. Uh, a second Rescue Hamster, though. I really wish that was two of another super rare in this set. I shouldn't forget to talk about the desk bots. The desk bots were terrifying in Gage's hands in Prog Season 1, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they make a comeback in Season 2. Oasis of Dragon Souls isn't terrible for what it's worth. I mean, granted, we have stuff like Call of the Haunted at 3, and back in the day, Satellar Knight was playing both, honestly, but uh, it's still a neat little pickup. Another super rare. I mean, I can't complain that we're not getting super rares. Uh, Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. Unfortunately, I don't really think I have the BA core to support this. I think Gage's looks a little bit better than mine. Ooh, wow, a little bit past the halfway point. We finally got something else to look at. Solemn Scolding. Cool card. I still think we have access to a lot better stuff at the moment here. Um, I think this was just a card of the times, really, right? It was one that people were able to play at the moment, uh, but not anything, I think, long-term value, right? So it's a cool card, though. I've talked about it. I, this brings back memories for me. I like this card. All right, getting closer to the end. I haven't been super impressed. We got two Secret Rares, which is literally above average. I haven't gotten really anything else to look at, though. Whoa, is that first movement solo? I mean, that card's not bad, but are we going to play Melodious anytime soon? I'm pretty sure there's a really dumb Melodious lock, where, like, if you have two specific Melodiouses, your opponent just can't attack, or they can't destroy the monsters or something like that. Pretty annoying. All right, last two packs. Anything big? Tramplonix. This card was interesting, I think. What was the big thing with this? I forget. I think it was, like, you pendulum summon with this, and then you bounce, like, um, Cleefort Scout or something like that, so you can use it again the next turn. I don't really know exactly. This card was played, though, funny enough. All right, last pack. Anything big? No, it doesn't look like it. I think we got two secret rares. I think that's all I got. That is all. Oh, and I got the super rare. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really looking for too much out of this set. Like I said, I think we'd have to high roll pretty hard and hit like Shekinaga or something. And even that doesn't like guarantee we have a working Shadal package. Um, everything else in this set's like okay at best. I think we might just keep this. I, I, I don't think there's really much else I'd be looking for. Let me think for a sec. Yeah, I'm not too impressed by everything else in New Challengers. And like I said, everything is to build off of what we pulled at the last core set. Um, and I don't think I pulled good enough on any of the archetypes to really be focused on trying to build those at the moment. So I think we're just going to add this to the collection as it is. I think it's all right. And then we'll build something out of what we have. Let's see what that is. Apoclifor Tower is a terrifying card in uh, historic Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. But thankfully in Prague, I think Klee is pretty unplayable. Midfielder's a sick pickup. Again, if we do want to play Ultra Athlete eventually, which probably won't be until we get like Dreadnought Dunker or even the better support much later on, uh, like the, what is it, the, the coach or the captain or whatever. Those cards are crazy. Uh, Midfielder's still nice to have though. Only a few packs left though, and I gotta be honest, this hasn't been the greatest opening. Like I said, there's one super rare card I'm looking for in particular, but uh, let's see what else we can get in the last few packs here. Third to last pack, nothing crazy. We're getting plenty of Fluffle cards though, and I think we're topped off on Power Jersey so we're good there. Second to last pack. Wow. Yazi as a secret rare. Goalkeeper. I kind of wish I had another midfielder, in all honesty, but Yazi's a pretty sick secret for what it's worth, especially later on once we get like Mari Mari and such when we can actually take advantage of the uh, tokens that that card can produce. That's an awesome secret rare. Let's see what we get in the last pack if there's anything great in the close. Another copy of Shell. Nothing too great. I think we got pretty much play sets of all the commons that we wanted. I'm going to think about this. So I'm taking a look at the set. Obviously, we wanted El Shadal Fusion. That was like the big payoff here, right? Because then we have another fusion spell to access our construct. Granted, we only have a single construct, but it's another fusion spell at the end of the day, which is nice. We can recycle construct. It's hard to recycle the fusion spell. So that's what we were going for. But the rest of the supers are kind of whatever, in all honesty. The rares are sort of in the same category, aside from like specifically the UA cards. And I guess like Oasis and the Fluffle stuff is okay. The Ultras aren't even that great either. Like Denko Seca would be crazy. But aside from that, every Everything else is just sort of whatever because it's sort of locked into its particular deck. And even looking at the secret rares, the only other cards besides Yazi in this category that are good are Shek, which of course would be fantastic, and Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon. Like everything else, again, requires its own specific deck to play. So I don't know if I really want to respin this. 
I think I'm going to lock this in. I think if I had like two copies of Construct or like another Winda, it might be worth it. My fear is that if I respin for El Shadal Fusion and let's say we win today's episode, Gage could just ban Construct. So then all of a sudden my Shadal strategy just sort of falls apart. I think I'd rather keep the Yazi because Yazi, once we get to Strudo, actually opens up a lot. And I think I'd rather have that banked. So let's get to building. Okay, I know the last time we took this deck into action, we ended up getting clobbered by Alex's battery men. Maybe clobbered isn't the right word. It was a pretty close game. I ended up getting super greedy with the soul charge and then get wiped away by an honest but i really feel like this deck has legs it's got fists if you will right <laughs> i like this deck uh, i think uh, some of the failings that we had with the last time we played is we didn't see our side deck cards right like if we saw light imprisoning mirror against alex's battery men that was just gg on the spot i think our side deck is super well equipped to deal with a lot of things and if we could just see the cards i think it would be a really easy win i also think i did get super greedy with a soul charge paying down to like 100 life points multiple times it didn't pay off. I ended up getting demolished, right? But I feel like we can take this back into action today, and it might be really fun to try out. There's some new things to fiddle with that might be really cool. Kaiser Coliseum is still a card at three that we can actively play with, and uh, it could really screw up Alex's wide strategies. He's been playing Shadal combo to summon the baby dragons and stuff like that, so maybe just limiting them to one board space would be able to change the course of the game. Rhoda's at three. Um, despite what this says right here, Rhoda is at three. That's kind of crazy, right? Like, this was just a, in retrospect, a huge mistake from Konami. I think Noble Knights had just gotten some new support, and they're like, yeah, this will make them playable, but all it did was really give Necroz an easier way to search Colossalis, and then, um, that's all it ended up doing before it got limited again. But for us, we can play it in Battle Boxer, right? Like, now we have more ways to search our Switch Hitter, or more ways to search our Headgear and jump the Glass Jaw. This is pretty good for us. This is solid. And then... Pair it up with a couple of decent just trap cards here. I think we're sitting pretty for a game one. And then game two, things will get grimy once we can put in the light imprisonings, shadow imprisonings, whatever that we need to. If he's playing his own rank four deck, we still have the XYZ universe. And now we also have Felgrand to be able to make with the uh, the XYZ universe, which is even more scary, right? That's super insane. I actually really dug playing the rank up magics before, so I think I might put those back in. Just got to think about what I want to cut to be able to fit this in. Um, it did come up a couple of times, right? Being able to make Silent Honor Dark was unbelievable. Uh, I still think being able to summon Ragna Infinity is game-changing, too. We'll see how this works out. I might regret this. I'm gonna cut a Book of Moon, a Photon Thrasher, because we have all these Rotas to be able to search out any of our modal pieces that we need. And I got one more card I gotta cut. Ooh. An MSD? Or maybe I'll just play two. You know what? I'll just play two of the Quick Chaos. That's probably fine, right? I've got two XYZs to summon with Quick Chaos. I've got two Quick Chaoses. That, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, so we're bringing the fists again with Balan Boxers. I think our deck has been infinitely built better than Alex's. Uh, Balan Boxer strategy, if he chooses to take that. Uh, having the Quick Chaos is an easy way to be able to make guys that out his own lead yoke. And lead yoke is still just a pain in the ass to deal with on our end too, especially backed up with Kaiser Coliseum. I'm hoping every single time that I've played this card, Alex has also played this super low to the ground strategy that doesn't really commit too much or go super wide. I'm hoping this comes up today. That's the dream, right? Hopefully it matters. Um, I like this list. Let's see what Alex has brought today. Let's see if we can win. <laughs> Fools! Did you not think that we were gonna bring back Black Wings after convincing Gage to mutually unban them? What a moron! What a rube! He will rue the day that Kalut damage steps him once again! <laughs> I am so excited! We're gonna put Gage into the banning with his biggest nightmare. Black Wings are back, ladies and gentlemen, and you know what? They're at full fucking power. Aside from the fact that Gale isn't at three yet, it just went to two. But Whirlwind's at three, and that's all that matters. So let's see if we can Kalut Gage into the sun once more. We've got three Blizzard, three Bora, two Gale, three Kalut, three Shura, and only one Sirocco. Sirocco's kind of a brick, which is why we're only on one. Kind of affects our Whirlwind stuff, but honestly, it's fine. However, we do get to play with the new Black Wings like Steam the Cloak. Steam the Cloak's pretty sick, because we can get it off of Shura. It's a tuner. We can go into an Armor Master, resurrect it, and immediately go into something like Leo, which is actually pretty good depending on the circumstances. So I like this in here instead of something like Vayu. Vayu is a little bit too slow. And then of course we have Dad and then Double Gores. You might be thinking this conflicts with Whirlwind, but honestly we need some defense because this deck kind of sucks <laughs> otherwise. So we've got that in Triple Maxi to back us up. Of course, then we have the Triple Black Whirlwind paired with our Brain Con, Dark Hole, Mind Control, Double MSC, Triple Duality, One Pot of Greed, and of course Soul Charge. And the Traps is just Compulse Torrential and the, of course, Triple Icarus attack.
The extra deck's kind of interesting. Aside from typical suspects like Ally of Justice Cataster, we have Beals of the Diabolical Dragons. This just needs a dark tuner in order for us to summon. It's a level eight, and uh, it's a pain in the ass. If we summon this gauge, actually might not have an out. Of course, we have Black Rose. We're playing Black Winged Dragon, not because it's on theme, but because in case Gage gets the idea to play like Chain Burn or something, this actually is a way to like counter that. So I just like having that as a, as a precautionary measure. We, of course, have Silverwind, Arm Wing, and Armor Master. We're not playing Vayu, so it's not super likely we go into these, but uh, well, especially Silverwind. And these are more likely. But in any case, we got Brio, we got Darken, we got Leo, we got Stardust, and we have Exiton and two 101s just for, you know, some variety. And then the side, honestly, whatever Gage is playing, we can adapt for games two and three. We've got Crow and Soul Drain for any graveyard based decks. We got My Body in case he's on a ton of removal. We've got MST in case he's on more back row. We've got Bottomless in case we need some more removal. Same thing goes for D Prison. We've got Goes in Match in case he's on like Rulers. This will really hose him there. And then we've got Skill Drain in case he's on something like the Raccoon deck because Skill Drain can just make it so that our guys are just bigger and we're going to win the game. So let's go ahead and ruin Gage's day. Let's not make you wait any longer, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to duel. Well, Gage, uh, just like that, you're on the verge of a banning again. Uh, the new challengers better have helped you out a bit. How are you feeling? Yeah, don't remind me, bro. <laughs> I hope the new challengers <laughs> brings a new energy. I definitely need to come back again. I couldn't believe I let the Age of Gage slip out of my fingers so quickly. I mean, it has to come to an end at some point, right? You know, as the season one winner, I can't let you take the lead too far ahead. And so we'll see what happens. Uh, new challengers, a bit of an interesting set. There's some cool stuff in there, but uh, core sets, I feel like... As we go further and further in Yu-Gi-Oh, the core sets become, like, harder and harder to come by in terms of, like, overall how strong they are. It's no Duelist Alliance, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think, though, the main thing that you start to see is a lot of the core sets build off of prior core sets yeah. and, the, like, the, the archetypes introduced in them. And it doesn't help that all the archetypes have, like, super high rarity, like, integral cards, like, locked behind something that you can't get. So, uh, it, it kind of sucks that way. You see a lot less, like, generically good cards that are easy to get. But, um... Nah, we'll see a lot of better ones alike, like later down the line, I think. That's what the side sets are for at the end of the day. So let's out the patron. It is Spiky Howard. Thank you for the support. Rock, paper, scissors, my friend. Let's see how it goes. Mm, you got this one. You got I do. This one. I do. I got to be honest. I kind of wish you won because I didn't want to pick, but I'll go first. <laughs> I guess it seems oh. to be the move. So let's see how it goes. Best of luck. Seems Jeffrey. like a, a good choice. All right. Good luck, Duelist. All right. Let's go stand by main. Let's start with Pot of Duality. Yeah. Okay. Gage, I'm going to need you to brace yourself. <laughs> All right. Hey. I'm, I'm ready, bro. I'm, I'm, I think we're a little bit past the... <laughs> wow! No way! With the whirlwind, too. You opened Shura for sure as well, by the way. Like, you had to have. I told you to brace yourself, buddy. I told you to brace yourself. Let's go ahead and fire that whirlwind. Yeah? Let's fire a second one while we're at it. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Double whirlwind, Can we go too. double whirlwind? Is that fine? <laughs> you, can, you can go double whirlwind. That is... Uh... <laughs> insane. I was about to say, say, I don't know how fine it is exactly from your perspective, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a blizzard, and let's also get ourselves a good old friend of yours. Where is he? You know him, Gage. You'll love him. And we'll just pass on that. Okay, I'll draw. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what I can do, bro. Oh, no. I can't believe you brought this garbage. <laughs> I gotta deal with it. Um, so I got to beat a Kalu and a Blizzard on the crack back now, huh? Washed up deck gauge. It's 2014. How could Blackwing possibly compete? You have no idea, bro. Literally in my astral packs, I pulled a pot of duality and I said, <laughs> we're past the prime of pot of duality. Here you are, you're playing it today. So it's only, there's always something. Is that really it? Is that what I'm going to do? You don't sound confident. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't. Um... But it does seem like the best play. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to start with Balan Boxer Headgear. Back on the Boxers. Effect. Okay. Back on the Boxers, bro. This is going to be an interesting ring. game. Yeah. All right. I get to send a Balan Boxer from deck to graveyard. So you what do. I'm going to do is I'm going to send a switch hitter. And uh, he's going to go to bin. Yep. Okay, I'm going to activate Soul Charge. I'm only going to pay 1,000. Oh, this is going to get so much worse for you. Oh, my God, bro. Why, why don't you just have everything, huh? Oh, my goodness. Go ahead. Make your lead yoke. Make your lead yoke. Give me another card, buddy. Do you buddy. think that's what I wanted card. to make here? No, I'm going to make friggin' Exciton Knight. Okay, I'll draw another card. And he's, he, yeah, you can take another card. At least he takes care of the board, right? So during my main phase, I will activate it here. I'll 
put the switch into the grave, I'll wipe your board. Clean up. Yep. Take care of the double whirlwind. I now have a blizzard that I got to beat and Kalu and an unknown, two unknown draws now. Wow. It'll be three unknown draws, actually, once I draw for yeah. a turn here. What do you do here? That's the question is like, you're going to draw to six and you're going to have more cards than me. So you like really can't do too much, I don't think, under this dumb idiot. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna set everything. Excuse I'll, me? <laughs> yeah, I'll set three cards, and I'm still feeling confident behind my evil swarm except on excite on night. I get I mean, all cards on the field, but trust me, trust me on this one. I mean, I get it. I kind of. All right, I'll draw. We'll go stand by main. Do I get it? Oh, I'm kind of confused now. All right, let me think here. I mean, you're playing Boxer, so I mean, you probably have like some back row, which is fine. What if I just duality again? That sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, bro. <laughs> Show me how good Oh, that those card are pretty is. good. <laughs> those are all really good, actually, yep. Uh, all right, which of these do I want is the question. Like, clearly, if you're setting three, you feel like you have enough protection for your Exiton. I mean, granted, as an oh shit button, you could just wipe the board whenever you feel like it. So it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm going to nab up this Icarus attack. Powerful card. Okay. Respectable. It's not, it's not as good when you know about it, obviously. No, but, definitely you know. not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am just going to go set, 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 and throw it to you. Play right into your imperm columns. Okay, during the end phase, I will space Typhoon. I'm going to go for this 50-50. I better hit this Icarus attack. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll roll the dice. It's going to roll one. it. All right. Okay, so it's this one here closer to the deck. Is it the Icarus attack? Did I get lucky? You sure about that? I am sure about that. That's the one. You're yes, a lucky man, yes, Gage. You You're a lucky did. man. All right, all right. I like it. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. Are we good? We're making it there? You're good. Okay. All right, off the top. It's pretty good, man. I'm a greedy guy. I'll take two Shit. more. Yeah, that's I really good. did. I needed that help. So <laughs> I'll definitely take it where I need it here. Your soul charge is gone. That's limited. So I feel at least good about that. It is limited now, huh? All right. Um, You know what? Last back row. I'll clean it up. Get rid of it. Damn. The double MST strong. Huge. Huge. All right. What is this face down now? What are you setting against me? I mean, nothing. Nothing crazy, right? I'll just go summon glass draw. Sure. And then I'll go battle phase. 19 with the Exciton Knight. It's the Kalut that you knew All about. All right, no doubt. And then 2K direct. 2K is fine. Thank you. Awesome. I'm feeling pretty on top of the world now. That pot of greed put me back in the game. I'll pass. Yeah, those here. MSTs were pretty clean. They helped you out a bit here. Uh, we'll go draw standby main. Let's try for this blizzard. Thinking here. Hold on. Pot of greed helped me out a bit here too, making the Exciton not as effective. You know, this has got to be, this has got to be insane. You pick, you set a Kalut. Unless you have a second one. Um, no, this seems delectable. I will Fiendish Chain your, Ew, your Blizzard, the Fiendish far Fiendish Chain, the Blizzard, yuck. Yeah, go. <laughs> oh, yeah, the quickest pass in the game. I'll draw for turn. Stand sure. by main. That's probably, like, the best draw out of my deck. I will activate, activate. I'll normal summon, battle in Boxer Headgear, and then I will activate his effect. That's pretty good. It yep. is very good, actually. I will dump from deck to graveyard here a Glass Jaw, and then Glass Jaw triggers... I get to add one from graveyard to hand, so I'll get back that switch hitter. Sure. A little bit of follow-up. All right. All right. Am I thinking just go in battle phase with all these? I can make a lead yoke to beat Kalu. That would be pretty tough. Um, That is insanely tough. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to overlay these two, and I'm going to go into... Do I have any game shots? No. Yeah. So I'm going to go lead yoke. Sure. Okay. I'll go battle phase, lead yoke first. Yuck. Uh, yeah, it's fine. So I'm going to take, was it nine? Yep. And then Phoenix Chain goes to Graveyard, and then I'll do 19 yep. direct with Exciton Knight. Take it. I've got Gores. Oh, you've had it. So, man, dude, how do you always have this card? <laughs> All right. I'm not, like, super stressed about the Emissary of Darkness. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll just pass to you. Go ahead. I was about to say, like, it's not the best Gores, but it's, like, it's fine. For all things considered. All right, we'll go main one here. You still got a back row I've got to worry about. You also have a switch hitter hand that I know about. So you guarantee have follow-up. 
Uh, which is annoying. Don't get me wrong. Uh, let's go Blizzard effect. Thinking here. What are you targeting, I guess? Uh, Bora. Yeah, I'll allow it. Go ahead. Yep. Bora hits the field. Anything here? Nothing here. All right. Uh, let's synchro. Let's make our good old friend Brio. Thinking here. Yeah, kind of forced my hand here. I will use the judgment. Yeah, I figured if it wasn't like a chain, you might be trying to just bide your time and think about the best way to deal with that. That's fine. Um, we will throw this Gors into attack. Okay. And let's just take out the Exiton. Wow, man. You're lucky we have the same amount of cards. Could you imagine if I, I kind of planned it that way? I kind of planned it that way. <laughs> yeah, I'll, you know what? I'll take the 800. No problem. It'll go to graveyard. Sure. And uh, I'm just going to chill. Okay, go I will draw. Stand by me. All right. Well, I mean, it seems pretty straightforward to me. I'll normal summon switch hitter and use its effect. Yep. I'll summon glass draw back. Sure. And then I'll another lead these. Yoke. Yep, into another lead yoke. And then I will go battle phase. I'll talk into your token. Tokens out of here. I just leave you with it. And then what? If you attack me, they get bigger. I can crash one and make it bigger, but then you just do more battle damage to me. I'll let you keep the scores. I don't think it's doing too much. I'll set it back row. And uh, I don't know. I'll pass turn, bro. Okay. I'll draw. Standby main. Oh, uh, I totally read this card wrong, actually. I totally had this out. That's all right. I'm just going to set one and pass. Over to you. Okay. Um, draw. Yeah. Okay, I'll go battle phase. Sure. I'll put this one into your gores. Uh, sure. Okay. So damage, I take 500. And then I'll detach, yep, detach. from this lead yoke, boosting this guy up. That's what I read incorrectly last time here. Um, and I'm actually... Oh, that's yeah, sick. Actually, I actually don't think I even realized that that yeah, worked out. Yeah, see, we're learning together, bro. We're learning together. I'm actually yeah. going to detach... Well, I mean, let's be honest. It's not common that we have two legends yeah, right? out on the field. I'm going to detach Glass Draw instead, and then Glass Draw's effect puts back headgeared. Sure. Okay. Uh, and then this one has an attack, so I'll go 3,000 into this guy. Do you have a deep prison? Sure, if you want to change the stats, too, that's fine. I'll oh, take yes, three. I will change the stats. Let's fully immerse the audience into this battle. There we go. Yeah, of course. Okay. Best feature Dueling Book has ever added. <laughs> now I'm feeling pretty good. Go ahead, your turn. Okay, I'll draw. Stand by into the main. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, you got this one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was I the should top deck going to be able to save you? It was a pot of green. Oh, it was a pot man. of green. That's all right. I'll take the game. My board. god. All right. Gage, the sad part about that is you are so close to dying. You have no idea. Did you have like a, another double Kalut angle or something? I like did that? actually. Yeah, if I got any I'm black bad. wing, I think you were just cooked there. <laughs> it sucks, but that's how the game goes sometimes, unfortunately. That's how the game goes. Uh, so we'll just go standby main here. I'm going to go normal Shura set one pass. Hey, OG. man, if you feel safe doing that, I'll draw. Shuffle my hand. Let's go standby main. All right, Alex. Check me out. Okay. I think that's... Uh, you know what that is, that back row? That is an Icarus attack if I've ever seen Is it? It's it's the, it's the most icky attack I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start with Pot of Greed just to, to get a couple more cards out of my deck. Rub some salt in the wound. Yeah, yeah rub sure. some salt. And give me an MST to deal with it. No, not quite. What if I just outplay you? What, what if what if I just don't put two cards on the field? What if you don't? It's possible. What are you gonna do? That's the question. I, I don't think you do anything. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm murk you, bro. I'm gonna set Okay. One humble back row. Okay. Go ahead. Your turn. Alright. I'll draw. Uh, let's just get in for 18. Yeah, I'll take it. That's all I do. I figured that might be all you do. Not even worry. Go ahead. Alright, I'll draw. Shuffle my hand. Let's go stand by main. All right, bro. you, all right, I'll put some cards on the board. <laughs> Let me activate Reinforcement of the Army. Go ahead, reinforce the hand. All right, the Army's getting so reinforced right now. I'm going to pick up a Battle in Boxer Sparrer from deck to hand. Sure. And then I'm also going to activate Reinforcement of Another the Army. One. <laughs> yeah, freshly at three. This wasn't a mistake or anything like that. This was no. perfectly fine. 
in in 2015 when it came back to three and uh everybody says it could come back to three today right it's funny because like back then it wasn't even the best deck that was playing yeah. three rota no, it, it was, was like the fourth best yeah, deck. <laughs> yeah they, they're like oh this will make noble knights finally good and then everyone's like oh this search is colossalist for for neck uh, i mean Sateller, yeah. Sateller's a thing <laughs> chill so. all right man let's see here i added a photon thrasher if you didn't see by the way i saw okay yeah. i'm gonna special that photon thrasher sure I'm going to normal summon headgeared, and I'm going to use his effect. It's fine. I will dump a switch hitter with the headgeared. I'll just max see you here. Make you give me the one. Interesting. You saw me add the thrasher, and you chose not to. I mean, because you would just not summon it then. That's true. Why don't you just attack me, Gage? What's the worst with, that could go? what? Headgeared? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm going to go exceed these two. Yep. I'm going to make Lavolve all chain. I'll draw a card. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do anything here? No, you're good. Okay. I'll use the Lavalvo chain. I'll detach headgear and I'll use the effect to send. Sure. Okay. I will send head. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Glass draw, and I'm going to use his effect since he was sent by a card effect. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to add back switch hitter. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to activate Kaiser Coliseum. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, indeed. Yeah, he's pretty good. And then I'm going to set one, two, three. And I uh, go ahead, Alex. Your turn. The hand is Spar Switch Spar Hitter. Spar Switch Hitter. That is it. Okay. Uh, I'll draw. Stand by main battle. Okay. Attack. On attack deck, I'll flip Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Okay. Um, Anything else? No, you can proceed to damage step. We're crashing. Okay. Um, he's letting it go. Perfectly fine with that. Uh, second main. Let's just set another card and throw it to you. Okay, I'll draw. I'll go normal summon, switch hitter, and then I'll use his effect. I'll maxi again. You animal! What do you... <laughs> How do you have two of them? Oh, You know I have two of them! Oh, I, no, that is right. I do know you have two of them. <laughs> that's definitely right. <laughs> All right, I'll summon the switch hitter. I mean, I'll that's glass draw. draw. I literally don't even know these guys' names, bro. I'm just putting them on the field. You don't think when you play boxer. You just hit. Yeah, yeah, right. You just do. I still think lead yoke is just too insane, Alex. Like, he's just... He's too good. And I'm going to give you the other card for that. So I'm I appreciate go it. For Mr. Yoke. I'll take another card. Uh, I'll just go battle phase with him. 22. E-Prison. I will wiretap the deep Ooh, that's pretty damn good. Go sure. And put it back in the deck, why don't you? And I'll take 22. You will. Uh, I'll go to the, my main phase two. I will set up another face down and I'll just pass. Go ahead. Still got spar in hand. Yes, yeah, spar in draw. hand. Draw. Uh, duality. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I mean, under Shadow Imp, you know, all these cards are just phenomenal. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? Let's get probably Kalut. Yeah, no problem. Would it be surprising to you if I told you I'm not even scared of Kalut? The card that has terrified me for almost two seasons straight. The, the fact that you're on Boxer, I mean, you have a reason not to be terrified of Kalut, all things considered. I'll just set one and pass. Go Okay, ahead. I'll draw. You don't have the second one, I don't believe. I'll go attack with Lee Joke. Deep Prison. No way. He had the second <laughs> one. Um, <laughs> uh, you have the second wiretap? I have a judgment, which will take oh, care of it. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. I'm up a game. I'm up a game. I'll take the risk. Uh, all right. And that one's going to grave. 22. All right, your move again. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. Uh, we will think. Uh, I'm going to set one, throw it back. Okay, I will draw. Stand by main. All righty then. So that last back row is like probably nothing, I want to say. I'll go with uh, Balan Boxer Switch Hitter, and I'll use his effect. Maxi. Yeah, yeah, I bet, bro. <laughs> I, <I'm just> <laughs> I bet. I gotta double check the twos in the graveyard. I do have DD Crow. Oh, oh, damn. Yep, that works. Yeah, darks can be used from the hand. That is still they can. a real thing. Okay, <laughs> okay. What is his face down? It was Kalut last time. It could just be another meat shield this time. I'd expect it to be. Unless it's like Hain Hain, that would go ballistic. <laughs> that would be insane. I like I like how Hain Hain is at the top of your yeah. mind when Penguin Soldier exists. I know that's no Why would I just bounce radar? one? That's not your side deck. For sure it isn't. <laughs> um, for the rest of this turn. If you do, you cannot conduct your battle phase for the rest of this turn. Can you summon Sparrer in main phase two? You can. Yep. Oh, okay. 
all right, then, yeah, I'm, what am I worried about? I'll go battle phase and um, don't even know what the largest defense is. I'll play, I'll play it safe, whatever. I'll go with Lee Jokin. Uh, D prison. Are you... <laughs> oh, how did you have all those D prisons? That, there's no way! <laughs> I'll... Dude, you have three of them back to back? What is this game? Okay, all right. Well, I mean, I'm upset about it, but that that's fine. <laughs> and then <laughs> I, I will still attack this face down. This was a blizzard. Okay, okay, yeah. blizzard. It does get over bl blizzard. has zero. What a weenie. All right, I'll special summon spar. Oh, wait, am I under maxi? No, I'm not. <laughs> you, you, you are not under maxi. I made the joke, yeah. but no, you are not under maxi. All right, so I'm going to go, yeah, special that, and I'll put in another lead joke here. Sure. I've, the only D prison you have left, Alex, is the one I shuffled in. So if you draw that one and you activate four D prisons, we're going to have a problem. Go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> okay, I'll draw. Uh, stand by me. Yeah. I don't know, man. This Kaiser Coliseum shadow imprisoning, it's like it's like I put you in hell. Like, 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 this sucks. Yeah. This sucks. Don't remind me. Brain con. Yes. Special dad. Um, I have to. I will torrential. Fuck. Uh, sh sh sure. So that goes. I detach off your lead yoke. I don't think it genuinely matters, honestly. Just get rid of that. Normal blizzard. Man, that's really unfortunate, isn't it? That is <laughs> downright depressing. I... Yeah, yeah, you got that one. I, I Oh I, I, my I, I god, like Brain you. Con bailing me out. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, game three, don't worry. Yeah, the Brain Con definitely bailed you out there. I think you had no other shot besides yeah. like somehow some miracle like that. So uh, you know, count your blessings, Alex. I'll be going first this time, so you better hope I don't see Shadow imprisoning turn one again. Yeah, as long as you don't have, like, I, I don't know. Like, it could go really poorly for me here, so let's just see what you do. Best of luck. Best of luck. I'll go stand by me. Shuffle up the hand. I'll just go set one, two, three. That's my turn. Go ahead. You're setting everything. Okay. Uh, I'll draw. You know what? I like your play so much do i like your play I do you? <laughs> it was a good play i don't i don't i don't blame you Ugh. i'm just gonna set one and pass Let's see what she just does. a humble one i'll just get rid of it all right oh all right okay <laughs> i'll draw for turn let's see sure. here i'm gonna normal summon switch hitter sure and i'll just go battle phase 15 i'll drop gores Every fucking time. No way, bro. Get, get shuffle it back into the deck. Get that card out of your hand. How do you have it every single time? This is like. Do you forget it's a two now? Yeah, now I know it's a two. Now I. Okay. <laughs> wow. God, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, go ahead. I can't believe right. it. Every fucking time. I'll draw. Stand by main. I'll put these guys to attack. I let's, bet you uh, will. Let's get cooking. Yeah, I bet you will. Okay. All right. I'll take. What is this? Twelve. Yep. 12 and 15. Yeah, I'll take 15. If you'll allow it. Uh, second main. I'll just set one. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. I will normal summon switch hitter, and, and I will use his effect. Maxi. Oh, my <laughs> God, bro. Cut me a break. I mean, he's on the field now, right? All right, what am I doing now? I ain't just going to leave him there. Yeah. All right, I'm going to exceed these guys. And I'll make, the boy. make... Do I make... Yeah, I have to. I'm locked in the battle in boxers. Yep. You're locked to boxers. Yep. Do you want to take your other card? I will. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. Yeah, no problem, buddy. <laughs> I'll go battle phase. <laughs> I'll attack in your token. You just sound so happy about I, it. I'm not so. thrilled about it, bro. It's like... That card <laughs> is so... So... This is a pain in the ass to deal with. I'll go main phase two. I'll add a back row. And I'll pass. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by main. I'm going to duality. Okay. Oh. oh wow. Those are ooh, good ones. Those are good ones. Wow. Well, I can tell you what we're not taking. Uh, you've had Pot of Greed for every other game this set. I do like Max C defensively, but honestly, you already have Lead Yoke set up, so I don't exactly know what I'm Max Cing anymore, considering you only have one card in hand. I'll take the pot. Okay. 
I can also just use the pot to draw max right. do, do me a favor, point. shuffle that extra good for me. I, okay, I, how many you want me? How many times do you want me to shuffle? Or give tell me, give me to stop. three more that? shuffles. That's that's One, perfect. One, two, three. There you go. There. Okay. All right. Fire it. Yep. Okay. This hand is uh, you got seven cards in hand. You are cooking right now. Yeah, it feels pretty good. And you can't complain. You're already pot of green. Yeah, you're game. right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna set, 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 set. Oh my two. god! Okay, I will draw. Tell you what, I'm not doing anymore. I'm not gonna attack into your silly little D prisons. <laughs> that's that's not sure? that's not what I'm doing anymore. Um, I'll just pass. Um, passing. End phase. I'll Icarus attack. I'm gonna target two of your back row. I'm gonna go after this one. And this one. I mean, I'll chain it. I'll just wiretap it back. Sure. You want me, how many times do you want me to shuffle this that's one? That's good. Buddy? I think that's good enough. Okay. I, I trust right, you there. All right. Just checking. Just checking. <laughs> all right, I'll do it. Stand by me. I'm going to set one. Okay. Let's try this again. Back rope. Yeah, it'll clear it this time. Bottomless Shadow Imp. Sick. Battle. Yep. Attack on attack deck skill drain. Oh. Yeah, you're not the only one with floodgates. Yeah, that's a thing. How's it feel? Not great, bro. I'm not smiling. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I bet. So, yeah, I'm going to take 500 from the battle, and there he goes. Good. Get him out of here. Go. Draw. I had to bait out all those fucking wiretaps first. Where's my crazy box? <laughs> Yeah, you look at yeah, all those rank yeah, fours. Yeah, a whole yeah, bunch of them don't looking, do anything. Huh? I can't believe yeah, this. Yeah, hey, now you know how I felt last episode. Oh, man, dude, all right. Trying to beat your rulers with all these fucking dinky dude, rank I, fours. I have like a, I have yeah, like a two and eight row. winning record with that ruler deck. Don't even bring it up. I'm like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how. I'll just pass. Go ahead. Okay, just hit yeah, with Yeah, 27. Go. I'll set one and I'll set another fella there. Go ahead, your turn. Draw. Stand by main. Whirlwind. Yes. Aura trigger whirlwind. Uh, yes. I'll, ch I'll chain the shadow imprisoning. Whatever. I'll get it out the way. Okay. Sure. Uh, we'll get... Uh, it's gotta be under Bora. It's fine. I'll get Gale. Yep. Special Gale. Yep. Uh, battle. Yep. Let's go... What the fuck? I know... I think Headgeared has like 1,800 defense, so I think I have to attack with Gores. I will Fiendish Chain the Gores. Okay. Uh, Bora in. It's bigger. It's <laughs> by 100. It is slightly bigger. That's kind of annoying. I'll collude this. I just want to get it out of here. Uh, you're Shadow Imprisoning. Doesn't affect the hand. Oh, it's fucking not the hand, bro. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Yep. Uh, 13. Uh, second main like to be able to do something else here. I guess I'll sink these off. I don't even have a seven worth making. Oh yeah, Armor Master's legal. That's right. All right, go ahead. No doubt. <laughs> I'll draw. I'm not used to prog Armor Master being a thing, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Shit, bro. I can't believe it. I, this time I seen my side deck cards and I still haven't... I can't fucking beat you. You got it. Wow. Holy <sighs> shit. I, this is a... <laughs> Tearjerker, bro. I can't believe this oh, freaking skill boo. drain. Boo. Oh, when bro, you get I... skill drain used against you, it's just a tearjerker. Yeah, oh, Mr. Gores every game. Bro. Mr. Oh, poor oh, you. You guys know Gores is at two now, right? I didn't. <laughs> I thought nobody played that card anymore, but <laughs> this is it's progression okay. If series. you would have tried to do anything, I think you would have actually quit if you saw me drop oh, another match. Oh, my God, bro. I did draw it off the pot, by the way. <laughs> That's so crazy. I, I, man, let me tell you, dude. Like, if you would have gotten two less cards every game because you didn't draw Maxi, we would be looking at something very different. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Also, you were wise not to attack because I did have D. Yeah, I, man, bro. Really, everything. I can't believe you flipped three D prison on me last okay. game too. That's you want me to really That's piss so you off? Crazy. You want me to I, really piss you off? Why not? Rub I only it in. have. T I only have two. You drew I it again. <laughs> you drew it. I, so sure I wire tapped it and you drew it. Dude, I can't believe that. That's so crazy. 
<laughs> and you saw me shuffle, so you can't say yeah, I did it. I, I did. shuffled like five million times. Damn, too. I just I really wasn't destined <laughs> to win this one today. I think that's what it was. <laughs> that had to be wow. it. Wow. Oh my god. Um <laughs> Yeah, no, looking at your hand though. You had, like, a decent opening, all things considered, but, like, once this lead yoke got outed, then you were in trouble because you just didn't really have much follow-up. The fact you had to go, like, switch hitter into switch hitter was just kind of rough. Yeah, and I think, like, the last game exemplified, like, what it's supposed to be good at, and that's, like, okay, I put lead yoke, and then I back it up with just annoying shit, like Kaiser Coliseum or Shadow Imprisoning or, like, a chain or bottomless, and then you have yeah. no out to him, right? Unless I right. willingly attack into deep prison, like... <laughs> you know, if I don't have the read that, you have the third one set. But, right. um, right. yeah, like, uh, that's what I realized game three here is, like, if I just sit on this lead yoke, like, cards like Icarus don't necessarily take care of it. Icarus takes care of, like, the back row and stuff. But True. I can just sit on him infinitely until you have, yeah. like, the out. And then skill drain was that out to, to be able to beat it, though. Yep. That's why I was holding Gale for so long, though, because Gale's, it's not really an out to lead yoke, but it kind of is, because as long as you don't have Shadow Whip up, of course, because if I can have your lead yoke, then it's just not as big. And then, mm -hmm. like, there is a remote chance I can hit over it, potentially. Because uh, then, like, what? It gets halved down to, I think, if I recall, Gale actually resets the attack. It's uh, half the current. No, so, yeah, I think it, Gale it, actually resets attack. So if it's at 3k, it goes down to like 15. And then if you detach again, I think it just goes back up to 23. Yeah, no, that's how it works. Yep. Right. So then I actually have things that can beat over it. When it gets to like the 3k 3800 territories, when it becomes an absolute disaster for me to have to, even with Kalutes and stuff, it just becomes impossible. So um, I was like, I, I, between like the Gale, I was like trying to decide like what to Icarus for your back row. Cause as long as I got rid of your wiretaps and judgment, skill drain was going to ride. And then Gorge yeah. is just going to carry me the whole way. Yep. So that was like my win con. And if you outed that, then I was probably screwed. So <laughs> crazy, man. Dang. I, I do wow. have the MSTs in here and I, I didn't see those. But crazy. That's okay. I, I... You saw them the first game though. And they did work because did, they yeah. got rid of a, uh, they got a torrential. They got rid of thinking like, Icarus too. It was, it was nasty. How was your new challengers polls? Uh, I mean, this isn't a new challenger deck from the looks of it. Yeah. So. <laughs> it wasn't anything too special. The one thing I wanted to like capitalize on was utilizing three Rota. I thought it would be cool to like pick up a deck like warrior based and try it out. But um, I yeah. got, what did I get new challengers? I got a solemn scolden and which okay. that card, that card's sick. And it's I also okay. got a Virgil. I got a Virgil. Oh, okay. So two secrets, though. Can't two really secrets. Complain. That's actually all I got. I didn't get anything else. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Did, do you get anything? Same yet? with me. Uh, I only got one secret, but uh, uh, there's an argument that it's the best one. I got Yazi. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. That's 100%, yeah. I think, the best one. Yep. I was really fiending for that El Shadal fusion. You know, I've got my uh, mm -hmm. my good old Shadal deck, but um, I just I couldn't bring myself to respin because in this exact instance, if I win today's episode, I was afraid that you could, like, ban Construct or something, and then... Uh, then the, the, me getting El Shadal was just a waste. So yeah. I'm like, okay, well, it is what it is. So Yazi was honestly like the best thing I got, aside from like random commons and rares, nothing too crazy. Um, there may have also been a particular reason, Gage, that you were seeing Max C so much this episode. And that is because on the wheel, I spun a secret rare wild card for legendary collection wow! 5D. So, so you we got are now third. playing with three Max C instead is so of two. When's this card get limited? Tomorrow, please. Like <laughs> No, it is several years. First, it'll go to two, then it gets limited, and then it ultimately gets banned. So I thought, you know what? The next like 20 or so episodes of Prague, if I get one more maxi than gauge i'm okay with that <laughs> man i can't believe i just assumed it was alexander simo type luck right the the, the protagonist type luck for you to see double maxi every game no it's foolish me it's because you have all three of them that is crazy wow yeah so it it's it's a disgusting card like you said i was up on you two cards almost the entire game and that was enough to make the difference i get I, I agree with you you would have had this if i didn't have all the extra cards like 10 out of 10 times it wouldn't have it doesn't close. even seem like that much right like it's like oh i'm just gonna you you got your one from my uh like the refund from whatever the switch hitter but then i gotta yep. do something with them i can't just leave them there so then right that second one it, it it could be everything, bro. Yeah. Yeah, potentially. But uh, more importantly, now you're going to the banning. Uh, so you get to uh, <laughs> potentially shift the card pool up here again. I'm curious what you're going to ban for next episode. Hey, man. You're going to have some thinking to do, buddy. I'm curious too, bro. I don't, I don't know right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out.
So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout outs to Shadow1317, Tim00, X3, MBT Play, Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic Little Fade Leaf, Peyton McGrath, Dylan Rare Hunter, Jesse Wood, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady. I've tried reading cards before. It was horrible and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy. Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel by All Community soon, cancel by all committees soon, cancel by all players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, and Konami, when are we getting a Yu-Gi-Oh! lore anime? Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.